Hello and welcome back to Code Academy's Learn JavaScript. This is the functions section. What are functions? When first learning how to calculate the area of a rectangle, there's a sequence of steps to calculate the correct answer. 1. Measure the width of the rectangle. 2. Measure the height of the rectangle. And 3. Multiply the width and height of the rectangle. With practice, you can calculate the area of the rectangle without being instructed with these three steps every time. We can calculate the area of one rectangle with the following code. We have a const width is assigned 10, const height is assigned 6, const area is assigned width times height, and then we just log out that area and it would output 60. Imagine being asked to calculate the area of three different rectangles. Area of the first rectangle, width 1, 10, height 1, 6, area 1, width 1 times height 1. And then we would do that with the second rectangle and the third, right? Just changing the variable name. And it would give us the right answer. In programming, we often use code to perform a specific task multiple times. Instead of rewriting the same code, we can group a block of code together and associate it with one task. Then we can reuse that block of code whenever we need to perform the task again. We achieve this by creating a function. A function is a reusable block of code that groups together a sequence of statements to perform a specific task. In this lesson, you will learn how to create and use functions and how they can be used to create clearer and more concise code. Instructions. Take a look at the provider GIF. It shows a function named add one side, adding an additional side to different shape inputs. Notice how there's only one function represented by the box that is used to transform individual shapes, inputs, into new shapes, outputs. So let's look at that for a second. And we have function example one, function add one side, takes an input, and then it gives us an output. So we're gonna be learning, this is function two, takes some input, we add one side, and it gives us a different output. So through the use of functions, we'll be able to take in some sort of input, do something to that input, and output something different. Functions are all about being able to reuse code. And we'll be learning how to create and use functions, and we'll be learning how they can be used to create clear and more concise code. If you get that, you get this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.